Right, good day everyone. Okay, another another quick one. I'm going to show you we've finished the construction of the keel now. Put it all in place. Epoxy glued, screwed. And the uh, this dark stain is from steaming it. We'll sand off and. Uh, that reason I haven't epoxied it yet, I'll get that stain off it before I do that. Probably not going to make any difference, but anyway, I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I'll clean that up a little bit. A bit more puttying to do here. I've still got to clean a bit more silicon out of here. Yet, yeah. and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before. What's this? This is what happens when you putty dry timber. It doesn't bond to it. Yeah. What you've got to do is epoxy it first. Up here, you see this is all puttied in here, but when I say puttied, it's, I've mixed um, sawdust in with the epoxy. Filled it in, but yeah, you've got to. But like before I even did that, I brushed all the epoxy down in there, absolutely soaked it with epoxy first. And that's what you've got to do if you're going to putty it, like just especially like with normal putty. Okay. You've got to soak the timber, you have to give it something to bond into. Yeah, because see, the epoxy is still wet, as you can see, but the epoxy soaks into the timber and you know, because it takes you know, several hours to go off it, it gets plenty of time to, to bond into it and uh, yeah same up here I don't know if you'd seen that previously it looked like that but I've epoxied it all and then I've rubbed the, the sawdust mixture into it also epoxied all the way along. I'm going to um, yeah, fully coat the epoxy, especially over the screws, stop some working loose, glues them in. But for the reason that yeah, the paint will get knocked off. Yeah, as soon as it gets bleached, even just putting on a trailer, yeah, you can knock the paint off the keel. And that is a hole of why they rot. The paint gets knocked off and they soak the water up and then they start rotting. So for that reason I'm going to give it a good thick coat of epoxy and that will set hard. And then even when the epoxy gets, I mean when the, the paint gets knocked off the timber is still sealed. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, got to fill in here but yeah, I'd have done that already, but yeah, I ran, ran out of what I'd mixed up and didn't feel like mixing any more just yet. So I think we're going to run short of it too. But uh, yeah, the reason why I left this in here, yeah, it's, like it's, got, it's all nailed in anyway. And yeah, once I soak the epoxy in behind that, it'll bond back into it and it'll be fine. But yeah, don't dry putty timber it has to have something it won't bond to it you have to epoxy it first and then the putty can bond to the epoxy yeah so yeah, we'll do the next job and uh, yeah a whole lot of filling along here on these boards and, yeah, same thing again, I'll completely soak them with epoxy or with these splits before I fill them up. And uh, got a few boards to tighten here too. That's going to require some help. I have to get somebody in and hold a block on top while I tighten it up from the underside. Just be a, you know, I said you just put a heavy weight on that. Then you pound these copper rivets of the hammer and pull the boards back together. And uh, yeah, I'll also go along 
Yeah. Before I paint it, I'll go along all of these seams. Right down to about here, down to about the water level, and I'll epoxy all of that anyway. Just to make sure it's sealed and watertight. Anyway, it's just a quick one. I just wanted to show you how it looks with the, the new keel. So. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.